Waterhole is the 18 to 21 centimeter wavelength range in the radio band that is used to search for interstellar signals for, from extraterrestrial life, chosen because intelligent life might recognize this 18 centimeter hydrogen H line to 21 centimeter hydroxyl OH lines as an H-OH band, i.e. H2O band, and thus a place for different galactic species to meet like their predecessors once met at bars, cafes, etc. to discuss important issues. In this bottom right image, we see a saloon, which is an example of a place that people used to meet up at to discuss important issues. Now, human life is mostly made of water, and hence humans would meet up at these saloons and bars and cafes and drink water-based substances and, to, and then have these important discussions. And hence, these places were called watering holes. Now we want to meet up with galactic species to discuss important issues. So how are we going to meet up with these galactic species that are very, very far away to discuss important issues? Well, we need to be able to send and receive signals from Earth in order to have these conversations. So if we look at the entire electromagnetic spectrum, which portion of the electromagnetic spectrum will we pick to send and receive signals to have these discussions. Well, let's look at the electromagnetic spectrum in this cartoon diagram courtesy of NASA. The electromagnetic spectrum is broken down into the radio band, microwave, infrared, visible, ultraviolet, x-ray, and gamma ray. And of all of these bands of light, only the radio band and mostly the visible band pass through Earth's atmosphere easily and can reach ground. So if we want to communicate with galactic species, we would want to pick the radio band or the visual band. And since we want to have discussions with these galactic species, we would want to pick this radio band. Now which portion of this radio band? It's a very, very wide band and too many signals to cover. So we want to narrow this band down so we can send and receive signals within this band. Well, which portion of the band will we pick? Well, logic would say we want to pick a portion of the band that has the least amount of interference or noise so we can easily listen for signals. So let's find that portion of the band that's easy to listen and send signals. So here is a graph courtesy of SETI where we're looking at noise, increased noise on the vertical axis, and our wavelength band on the horizontal axis. And there is this portion of the radio band that is very good at sending and receiving signals without having too much interference. And it just so happens that 18 to 21 centimeters is within this nice low noise band. So we would want to listen between 18 and 21 centimeters, for example. But why 18 to 21 centimeters? Well, 18 centimeters is a length of wave that is emitted from a hydrogen atom. So we can replace 18 centimeters with the letter H from hydrogen atom. Now if we look at 21 centimeters, 21 centimeter, centimeters is a length of wave that is emitted from a hydroxyl molecule or OH molecule. And there's many emissions from this molecule and so there's many lines that are seen and they all have about 21 centimeters in length. So we can replace 21 centimeters with OH. So 18 to 21 is replaced with H-OH and notice there's two H's and one O and that makes up H2O or water and hence the name water band. So we would hope that intelligent species would look for a water band or something between H and OH and make this connection that water is related to at least to earth life. So this is why we chose 18 to 21 centimeters and we call only this 18 to 21 centimeter wavelength range the water hole.